Denise is a community health champion in the city of York. She arranges activities with a focus on connecting people and building relationships in her community. For me, being a health champion, it's, it's more than just a sense of pride. Um, it's more about me being able to get my passions out into the community, but it, it also gives me a sense of purpose. It makes me feel like all these fantastic people that have helped me, that's my way of giving back to them. And it's my way of creating this lovely ripple effect for future generations. In York, local area coordinators connect with people and help them to achieve their vision of a good life, exploring options and overcoming barriers. Being involved with the local area coordinators, and especially with Sarah, has been actually quite a powerful journey. They walk along beside you and guide you, but what they do is, and it's, it's really clever, and I, I think it's quite fantastic, they'll guide you, but it's not them telling you, it's actually you. They support you. It's you that makes these decisions. It's just that they bring out that best side of you just by being there and being a friend and being supportive. Encouraging people to build on their strengths and natural support networks develops their personal resilience and also that of the community. Denise was introduced to me by a um, person at the local primary school. This lady introduced saying this person is quite new to the village. Um, she lost a leg um, due to cancer and um, she could really do with some support. You know, our journey is still still ongoing, but Denise is just such a big part of the community that she doesn't often need my support anymore. You know, she walks down the street and people's faces light up because they know that she is like there and, you know, she's chatting and she always makes people feel a lot better. Strengths-based approaches put people in relationships at the heart of everything and shift power to citizens and communities. Every area of York is slightly different, so we, we actually adapt to where we are. And um, having that freedom to, to develop the role and to be who we are and to really get to know the areas, it really works. We don't go around with lanyards on saying that we're from the council. We're very fortunate to be employed by the council, but we very much see ourselves like, as embedded in the community. Being able to listen and take on board what that person's saying. We can make assumptions about how we think somebody's life should be. But listening to them, you can get an idea of what life they want. And that is crucial to having an asset-based approach. Language is key to reducing inequality and creating the different kinds of relationships, which is part of the vision for York, helping the council to create a more caring, compassionate, connected society and city. We're very big on language and how we've been reframing the narrative in discussion to reflect more strength and asset-based practice. So we always talk about the citizen, you know, the active citizen. That again reflects wanting to build on people's passions, skills, assets, their gifts, their capabilities, uh, and to tell their own story. Connected, caring communities of active citizens are central to people living well. Leadership that understands nurtures social action through a sense that we're all in this together. By investing in communities, local authorities can cultivate the conditions for people to flourish and, over time, reduce the dependency on formal services to resolve crisis. A number of the people that asked to be introduced to us as a team are struggling with their mental health, loneliness and isolation. And often the solution is not in a medical model, you know, in hospital, in care, it's in the community through the power of the culture, arts, creative sectors, through the power of sport and physical activity. Dee's a great example of one of our health champions, somebody of lived experience that had fallen on very difficult and challenging times, reflecting her complex health condition, but has some amazing personal qualities. And through ourselves working with her, tapping into her potential has been an amazing story. It's a great example of community building. City of York Council are challenging the traditional approach to measuring outcomes and inviting people to tell their stories to make systems better. So we were looking at a way to measure the impact of social action and decided to do something that was a lot more creative and develop the stories that we knew had such a big impact into something that would maybe have a little bit more academic rigour. So we would make them into layered stories. So start with the individual story 
develop that into some accessible format. So we would have it in written format, a picture with a hard hitting quote and a short film. And then around that map some of the community connections and the social action and the community context. And then above that, the, the systemic context and the, the wider kind of ripple effect. And we've taken those stories to, you know, head of housing. And, and one of the stories, uh, you know, has really been a catalyst for system change and, and really fed into the way that housing are restructuring their services. Using community intelligence and experience to co-design services creates reciprocal relationships between citizens and local authorities. I think so many systems have done really well at designing people out and designing that human contact and that human element out of processes and everything we do and evaluation. And local area coordination definitely brings that back in. I grew up in a small village. So when I grew up, I was always told it takes a community in a village to raise a child. I think that in this ideal world that we create, if we have a lot of people together, all helping each other, all supporting each other, then you know you can only grow from strength to strength, can't you? The only way you're going to get that ideal world is if the communities all band together and we all support one another. We live in challenging times, but have seen how quickly communities can mobilise, showing natural kindness and creativity. The power of human connection and compassion in finding collective solutions is clear.